こんにちは。在日インド大使館です。在日インド大使館では、毎週水曜日にインドの科学技術分野における重要な成果を紹介する動画を配信しています。どの年代の方にもお楽しみいただける内容となっています。本日は、新世代の超突部工具についての動画を配信します。インド工科大学マドラス校では、高い生産性とエネルギー効率に優れた材料余興の要件を満たす新世代の高度な検索用途を向け炭素超凸粒工具を開発しています。ご視聴いただきよろしければ高評価をお願いします。Grinding is a material removal process. Machining industries often use grinding technology as a finishing operation to impart high finish and tight tolerances on the parts to be produced. There is a high speed rotary tool which performs this grinding operation. These abrasive tools are actually the aggregate of tiny microscopic hard particles. Often they are made of alumina, silicon carbide, s e v i a n s or diamonds. These tools are of various shapes. It can be just like a small pin, it can be also like a disc, but it can be of a very irregular shape too. But when we need high productivity, when we need a longer to life, we do replace this alumin and silicon carbide by the abrasives like CVN, which is cubic boron nitride, or the diamonds. They're superior in their characteristics, so they're super abrasives. They're superior in terms of hardness, they're superior in terms of their toughness, and also they're highly more conductive. Than alumina and silicon carbide. Super abrasive tools are meant for high productivity, that is, producing a part in less time. CVN and diamond tools are perfect bet for that. Whenever we talk about single layer super abrasive tools, if we make them in a very innovative way, they can really bring a paradigm shift in the common understanding in the grinding. My research team and I, Professor Amitabha Ghosh at Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Madras, are pioneering in this particular field of the research. We are working for the last six years in an exhaustive manner. We are trying to bring a complete a new concept in the making of the single layer wheels. Unlike the single layer wheels available in the market, our wheels are going to be made of uniform grid distribution pattern. This uniform grid distribution pattern. Will be very, very effective in terms of high material removal rate grinding as well as the precision level required in that operation s will be also ensured. When we talk about the high MRR grinding, the tools definitely need strong bonds. They do need high crystal exposure so that they can bite more material. Not only that, they do require to accommodate the large amount of the chips during the grinding process. Unfortunately, The current tools which are available、uh, in the market, they are all having cluster abrasives on their periphery. Our technology is going to offer a stronger joint, much higher crystal exposure from the bond level, and on top of it, we are going to recommend uniform distribution pattern which can be application specific. At the same time, we will be also prescribing some methodologies. Which will be helping us to treat the tools after the brazing operations to enable them to perform much stronger and with higher tool life. So, we are recommending active brazing technology that's a chemical bond that does not require much of the grit to be embedded within the bond. So, it ensures high crystal exposure. We are recommending a custom designed grid distribution pattern on the abrasive wheels. This ensures load free grinding over a prolonged period. And overall, we are also recommending post brazing treatment of the grinding wheels, which make them more stronger 
highly productive and justify the economy of grinding with such wheels. To enhance the joint strength, we are mostly working on the metallurgical aspects. We're working on the newer formulations of the braging filler. This filler alloy is actually very precious because they're active filler and they can be only used under very high vacuum. Our special formulation not only gives a very nice weighting at the root of the grids, but at the same time, it ensures very high joint strength. We are using the active brazing technology to produce such innovative tools. This active brazing technology does need very dedicated and state-of-the-art infrastructure like a high vacuum, high temperature brazing furnace. We have a turbo-propelled high vacuum, high temperature brazing furnace which offers clean brazing and the cleanliness is very important in terms of the quality of the joint. Once we produce the tool that needs to be also lab tested. So for that, we have a ultra high speed test freak. And above all, we need to do some basic fundamental research for testing the joint strength. For that also, we have dedicated, indigenously developed single grit joint strength test facility. We see our tools are new generation tools because we are offering a custom specific grid distribution pattern on the grinding wheels. We offer a post brazing treatment on the grinding wheels so that its tool life is significantly enhanced and both of these will contribute to high productivity. So in a nutshell, this new generation tool offer high MRR grinding in general. Conventionally, we think that the grindings can be only used for you know, finishing operations with downfeed or infeed in the order of 10 microns, 20, 30 microns. But we are dreaming of giving a depth of cut in the order of few millimeters, maybe five millimeter or more. And our innovative tools are perfect bait for that. So the technology is quite advanced in terms of coordinate control placement of the grids, but the process needs to be made faster so that the production cycle time can be greatly reduced. If we talk about the benefit of the individual industries, let us take one by one. See, if we take the constructional engineering field, there are many single layer configuration tools, which are diamond tools, which are used for the cutting of the rocks, ceramic tiles, concrete grinding. If we talk about automobile sectors, there are several grinding operations which need to be carried out. Many occasions they need very high MRR involvement. For those purposes especially, these tools should be like a wonder tool. The dental sector, they will benefit a lot because many surgical tools in the dentistry, they use the diamond tools, we just use the plating technology, which is a competing technology to the active brazing. But active brazing, having its own advantage over the electroplating technology, like more joint strength and higher crystal exposure, they will be much more useful. At this point of time, we are at TRL5, and after six, like it's more of an industrial application, so we need to send the products to the industry and we have to test it according to the requirement of the applications. So that is actually the seven, eight, and nine, and the nine is like technology is mature and it is ready to be launched. So in closing, I must say that the technology we are recommending here to develop the single layer braised uh, patternized grinding tools are exclusively indigenous in various aspects. Number one, we are the first to recommend the uniform placement of the grids on the periphery of the grinding wheels and that be also with an indigenous technology. Number two, is that we are giving our indigenous formulation so that we can achieve the stronger joint between the diamond and the steel substrate to make the wheels. And thirdly, we are also recommending very much application specific post brazing treatment of the tools so that the tools become much more durable and offer higher tool life and high productivity. In this particular rigors, we exhaustively are currently working on advancing our grid placement technology. And I feel in that particular regard, we do need funding and we request our government of India to come forward. We request our uh, grinding industrial fraternity to come forward to collaborate with us so that 
we can strengthen our infrastructure and we can raise the current level of our technology from the TRL 5 to the TRL 9 in very quick succession of time. In a nutshell, these particular grinding wheels are going to be a revolutionary one in the grinding application areas where the people will look for high MRR application integrated with the high order of precision. And I'm sure that uh, various industries will be largely benefited with the introduction of such kind of wheels in the market.